stay here just a few minutes. We're on our way home and I just couldn't resist stopping by the Bollinger Mill here at Burfordsville. And uh, just decided I'm just gonna cast for five or 10 minutes. See if I can hook any into anything. You just never know. up with Will he went to a different spot before meeting up with me he's got a nice 16 or 17 inch white bass I'm here to get him some on some pickerel and crappie all right we're gonna head over to the lake and I'll get back with you is it recording it's showing the time it says record four inch folks I think I just got my personal best it's close it may not be 16 but it's 15 at least. We're going to measure this guy. I don't think I'm going to change my lure. Holy now. cow. That is a monster. <laughs> if it ain't two pounds, it's close, close. Got him on the pink and green Mr. Clister with a pink quarter ounce jig head. I'm using eight pound Mr. Crappie with a two foot, it's 20 pound leader because there's big picker on here. Folks, that is a beautiful crappie. We're going to get him measured. Holy cow. It didn't take us that long, did it? No. <laughs> it's got to be at least 15 inches, I can tell that. But 16 might be enough. If it ain't 16, it's really close. I can't believe that. Oh my god, it's only 13? No way. It's thick. It's just so thick. My goodness, that had me fooled. Okay, I'll go ahead and take the camera. That had me fooled for sure. Folks, he was only 13 inches. It's just so girthy and tall that it really had me fooled. I thought he was for sure. He's still got a way. About. I thought he was 15 or 16. It is, it's just real tall. Wow. That's still a nice crappie. <laughs> One pound, six ounces. That's it. One pound, eight ounces. One eight. So a pound and a half. It's still a nice crappie. Wow. We we didn't even fish for maybe two or three minutes with lures. Because we fished for worms when we first got here. I guess I'll put it back unless you want it. Yeah, you can put that one back. If I keep any, they won't be that. That's a nice one. That's a beauty. That's that's a hoss. Get a close up good view of him for a few seconds. Hope I'm holding him about right, right there. Alright folks, I'm gonna get her back in. That way I can get him in the spring. In March. Boy, he had me full. That looks way bigger than 13. I'm just gonna leave the tape measure out. 
with it already extended. Oh, did you see that? Nope, it was a weed. Now that ain't. Oh my God. No, it's a crappie. Think so. No, it's a bluegill. No, it's a bass. It's a nice bass though. That's about as big as I've caught out of here. They're biting good, man. We came on the right day, Will. Yeah. All right, folks, I have my first largemouth on the same lure. One minute after the crappie. About a two pound largemouth, about 15 or 16 inches. Oh, wow. He didn't jump. That's why I thought it was a crappie. And then I was like, it's a bluegill. Can't believe I thought it was a bluegill, though. Not a bad bass. Kind of a weird. It's a pretty color. Yeah. But its black stripe is real thin compared to a normal. They're like twice that wide. I'm going to get him back so I can catch him another time as well. We're off to a good start. You guys, you, you cannot beat these days that are completely overcast like this. Where it looks like it could just rain at any second. It's probably only 50 degrees out here. And uh, that's when they can't see you. You just don't spook them as easy. They don't see that shiny hook and they don't see your line.